copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, common news reporting, teacher scholarship, and research. Fair use is use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing on profit, educational, or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Choke no joke, I am in the building. Woo, baby, 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 Happy Father's Day weekend to all the fathers out there. Much love to my niece, Kayla, sending me a gift. Appreciate you. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't uh, normal that I get the gift on Father's Day. This is one of the worst uh, holidays that there is. I do not like it. Women turn our children against us. There's no big celebration for fathers. Don't feel like no presents out here for Father's Day weekend. You go in the stores, it's not like Mother's Day, but you see flowers all over the goddamn places and people selling hearts and candy and all over the streets. Father's Day, it feels dead. You don't feel no energy. You don't feel no energy leading up to it. It's just nothing. It's just nothing. Women just don't appreciate us. Some women. Most women, most kids, kids nowadays, they kill their parents. You know, they it ain't no honor thy mother or thy father nowadays. They don't even call you to wish you happy Father's Day. Yet alone get you a gift. Not yet alone have you go out your way like us men and our, us kids go out our way for Mother's Day. Yeah, man. It's Father's Day weekend. But I got a good one for y'all tonight. Oh, 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 oh. have you been watching my 18137 conspiracy? I ain't got to explain nothing to you. You know what that's about. And um, I got a new part for y'all tonight. Beyonce been keeping her eye on me. I've been ruffling her feathers. I didn't mean to. You know, I like you, B. But, you know, I'm out here representing the, the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, y'all out here representing, allegedly, Satanism. And it is getting more and more obvious that this Renaissance tour is some ritualistic LGBTQ plus empowerment movement for Beyonce. She is definitely the queen of the LGBTQ plus community right now. <laughs> Whether y'all see it or not. But I'm going to point out a lot of things tonight. Oh, man. If you're new here, please subscribe. That's all I ask. You know, I know everybody can donate. You know, if you can donate, you can donate by hitting the subscribe button. You know, it's free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button. That's all I ask. If you got to sign in to your Gmail account, whatever it is, please don't let it be too much of an inconvenience for you just to hit the subscribe button. I know everybody can donate money. I appreciate if you can donate a subscription. Just hit the subscribe button. That's all I ask from you. You know, um, Choke, no joke. I got a good, 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 good show tonight. Oh, baby. Boy, oh, boy. I got this nigga Jigga Man red-handed, boy. Oh, boy. You not going to tell me this nigga is not an undercover. Not the fact that he just be sitting, like he, Desiree Perez is his partner, and Juan, uh, OG Juan is his partner. 
Like, if that ain't enough for y'all to, to, to understand where it's going, oh, I got another piece of evidence tonight that's going to blow the lid off this lying ass nigga. Y'all niggas don't think that nigga's mother, uh, undercover, allegedly an undercover motherfucker, if he ain't been hanging and sending niggas to jail, allegedly, all these years, I got some proof for y'all that this nigga be lying. And it makes more sense to me now that him, OG Juan, his whole crew go to jail. And shout out to the dude, Green Eyes. I heard he home. But OG Juan's whole crew go to jail, but OG Juan. Jay-Z's whole crew go to jail, but Jay-Z. And Desiree Perez sits there and tells on the whole cartel and everything and runs around with Jay-Z and Juan. And all three of these motherfuckers is untouchable. But that nigga put his foot in his mouth one more time to let me know that that nigga is allegedly a undercover. He got to be a 137. If you don't know what a 137, you got to go to my uh, Instagram to, get to, uh, to grab that, to understand what that is. But, bro... I got this nigga tonight, boy. I got this nigga tonight. I know y'all be like, oh, choke, man. You always talk about Jay-Z. If you don't like it, leave now. We don't want to hear y'all in the comments. Come, come about, oh, you always talk about Jay-Z. Oh, you talk about Beyonce. If you don't like that, I shame the devil. Leave now. Because I will be shaming the devil tonight. If you do not like me shaming the devil, you may leave now. Okay? Because I'm telling you, what I'm going to show tonight is going to, for y'all that consistently watch me, loyal watches, that know what I'll be saying and stuff, that you know, y'all always say, yo, choke, you called it, you called it, like the Boosie situation. Didn't I tell y'all Boosie was going to go to jail for running his mouth on social media? Didn't I tell you that going on Vlad was making these niggas hot because the police is Vlad, the, Vlad is the police favorite TV show. They watch that shit more than they watch Law and Order. They love Vlad. The police love watching Vlad because they, they, they Vlad makes their job so much easier. He makes niggas' job so much easier. But uh, choke no joke, we gonna get into the show. Get ready because I'm gonna blow your minds. Let me see if I can get D Haven on the phone or get him to come on because I need a little confirmation from him on this one. But uh. Oh, hey, Jigga, man, I know you watching because y'all watching. Y'all definitely watching. I'm going to prove to y'all that they watching tonight, right? At least I know Beyonce definitely watching. And, of course, Jay is watching. But, oh, my God. Watch this one tonight, y'all. This one tonight, I got this lying ass nigga. One, three, seven on an undercover cop. Got him. Let's get it started. Mm -mm. I don't want to start with that. I want to start with this. Choke, no joke. Yeah. Choke no joke. You know what it is. Let's go, let's go. 2020, rich niggas, money funny. We got killer bees and I lost my honey. My little sex master, yeah, she was a distraction to my mathematics. Then Corona happened. The government capping on what's really happening. Rock Nation signing niggas that's out here ratting. And Jay's the captain of the ship? Ain't this a bitch? 
bitch, you keep his sign and snitch. We lost Andre and Rich, life's a bitch. Can't have a funeral, no matter if you rich or poor. Overpopulated at morgues, funeral homes, bodies all on the floor. No food in stores, no me no more. These the last days, if you never pray, have faith, all sort of illicit days. Yo, it's tough. When you see Puff rock a hoodie with his baby mama hanging from a cross, you lost. Damn, you told the CEO on the gram he was a handsome man. Oh. That sexual harassment in front of millions of fans. You made five on the scram like Sunday Leticia. Uh. Joseph don't leave, Mary and Jesus. Uh. Sags, self pleasing, some sneak thieves. If we were kids, you call them flat leavers. They use you, don't need you. It's birth you, they see ya. Cross you, then be ya, curve you, and flee ya Niggas wanna be you, until they see you They idolize you, like you in the case Nigga, you know who got punched in the face In the A on stage, or any place A nigga like me, never retire like me And don't even care if the church is the escape Last real nigga alive, amongst your face Y'all big bad, no frost in the heart Come out, Epstein flight log is out And tell us, what that spirit cooking about? Head to head with a satanist and niggas and die homies The power of the dark side block me out That's why I'm black and get it in any sport trick That's why you the non-factor 6 9 keep acting like you ain't acting You wasn't flagging in the court yapping That tough guy on the gram was just blabbing I'm the king of New York, at y'all niggas I'm laughing <laughs> <laughs> When I tell y'all I got a good one tonight, I got a good one tonight. Woo, baby. I got a good one tonight. Oh, yeah. My man had to come through and make sure it went through. Y'all niggas is in trouble. Joke, no joke. I ain't no joke to mixtape. We here now. You already know. Let's go. Choke chillin', got away from the building. Ain't shit really changed though. I'm still that villain. I'm making money with rhyme. Fuck black on black crime. Beef and money don't mix like Muslims and swine. I'm talking milk, penicillin. Y'all be illin'. Y'all be thinking y'all killers with your school fits grillin'. Kick that bullshit to me. Y'all be wet though like Bruce Lee and Brandon and Hearst on the highway to heaven. Man, you making mad threats and stuck in one section. I'm OBP like Naughty. Make a connection, talking under your breath, get you something you don't need. Two fully loaded max, filled up with heat. Nigga, you sweeter than 30 days for a body. Pop shit to these niggas, see me walk by me. But I ain't looking for no beef, I don't eat bologna. But I bring a whole cow if you run up on me. Shiesty, try me and hype me to peel your wig back like 10 cent icy. Bring it, stop bluffing, I got your threats, they mean nothing I respond like Bond, I come through, I'm bombing Playing bodegas, flipping Montega You tan in the Jacks, I tan in Jamaica Faker, wouldn't bust if he raped ya Your chick out blazed up, hit it like Jada Why you blew up a pager, had a brief like Vader Your star at war with the lightsaber, I'm here to lyrically tear you red, nigga. You a spear. I jack you up now, you out of here. Throw me on the 600. Now, fucking nigga, hum it. Blowing down a path with a bad bitch blunted. I take it there. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it with no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the end. YC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Have y'all niggas feeling it like Jay-Z. Uh, 
no joke, who you thought it be? Represent the NYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Bronze King like the L O R D F I N E double S C. Uh, and that bullshit y'all do, y'all niggas don't stress me. Oh yeah, and you already know, eat a war what it is. Uh, choke no joke. I ain't no joke, the mixtape, we here now. They counted me out, cause I didn't wanna get down. <laughs> Niggas talking about God then. What God? What God are you talking about? Say his name. This nigga went Eric Benet. Now the baddest girl won't show her face. You know your ass in the way when she ain't show up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And you ain't even say her name. Lame, you better say dang. In the streets, we call you roadblock. Nigga, you shot. Nigga, you block rock. Like when Chris was about to pop. Like MJ moonwalking like Spock. You abuse your power fast. You killed the thought that's black. Jay told me in no certain terms that, you know, no rapper can really afford to look bad in front of him. So mm. it's almost like... Huh. We gotta blackball him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jay Z for seeing the big picture here. <laughs> yeah, and it's it, it was a hard pill to swallow. Tariq, you kill the weeds, not the seeds that grow the trees. And as long as you alive, Dave should have a milli. Fuck you mean bleep. Nigga, don't get me started. You know I'm retarded and lying hearted. You flipped on your peeps for those peoples in them white sheets. Like you pro black, we pass nail and how you shit on cat. Did you kneel with your stand? What I what? Did you kneel with your stand? Um. Okay, I think we passed kneeling. <laughs> Nigga, you got the check. The pros went back, and that's no cat. Leaving cat. With no salary cap. Your son said you his dad. And you never threw him a pass. Watching his siblings in the stands. Same lips, say no, say hands. You say the kid is not your son. They call you over. It must be immaculate conception. Choke no joke. You know what it is. Learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms. This one right here is for the mixtape. Let's go. Yo, Nas, I ain't do this for clout. Uh, I'm just a real nigga trying to figure you out. How you don't put blood in this Judas mouth. Talking Japanese wine like you fanning out. Blushing at this bitch that disrespects your kid and her earth. Calm it. I know that it hurt. And he also alludes to your daughter, Destiny. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say destiny in the in the actual verse, but he's talking about right. your you know you and his daughter. And you know what's so crazy about that? Now he has a daughter, and social media is a beast. And you know back then when he made these disparaging remarks and comments about my daughter and created this disgusting visual, there were so many people around him. Um, that stayed quiet. They said absolutely nothing. Calm it. I know that it hurt. You said Pac left us. When rappers that wink at other rappers in the studio, which made me think, yo, what he got on you? And homie in pink. Cause at Webster Hall, he didn't stream one link. Yo, y'all glad for punishment. I'm sick and I'm done with it. If it was part of your plan, I was hard my word on it. I'm just your fan. 
with little celebrity. Some say it's just the hate in me. Nah, I'm cut from a cloth. You don't brush shit off. Well, the penthouse alone gotta have a ceiling. Only forgive hoes with sexual healing. And that thought right now is not appealing. With these chicks with the dicks like little Nas X, I'm not a fan. You damaged your brand. Yo, Nas, don't ever do that shit again. I'm signing off. S go stand. Yeah. Choke no joke, you know what it is. Haha, <laughs> you know what it is. Oh yeah, and you nigga, I ain't sorry for shit. I ain't with your boys' games, nigga. I'm with the shit. Wedge. Webster dictionary defines the word as a substance that is used for splitting wood or rocks. Something causing a breach or separation. <laughs> it's funny what that lens can capture. Separation, division. How y'all having a meeting about Jay without? Nope, not nah, drugs right there. Nobody told me nothing. How come y'all having a meeting without Jay? Without, what about Jay without? I don't get it. It's 10.30 in the morning. Now you going to get Leo? Please, go get him. No, actually, I was just going to go to the restroom. Okay, so Why are you leaving? I'm asking a question. She doesn't have an answer. This, this, this well, I'm wondering, what line of thought is it? What pattern is it? John McNeely and all y'all. But y'all have my biggest artist here. And y'all in here. Y'all Def Jam staff is dealing with Jay's marketing without me. We were Please ready. explain that to me. Because this seems treacherous. And animosity. What you mean bullshit? The fuck? Y'all niggas having meetings about my artist without calling me? It ain't no bullshit. It ain't no bullshit. Man, look, all y'all look, everybody here is ashamed of y'all. Who wants to work under a cow? We don't have to. I ain't, no cow. I ain't with your boys' games, nigga. I'm with the shit. I'm nothing like Nas. I'm with the shit. I'm more like Jungle wanting to bust your shit. But bro got me on chill. He said I'm Illmatic, ha. with the static, ha. with the ratchets. Yeah. Let's go to Brooklyn, cause he gotta have it. School days, would've called you faggot and smoked you like a Spike Lee joint. Yo, the greatest of all timers, yeah. got hit with all timers. Ha. You buster, nigga, your mic with the shine. Knockout, Knock yeah, one line is, give you a reason to be a one eye without reasonable doubt. You been a liar. You headache came. Jazz O inspired. Rape Damon. So they trying to take they, they trying to take our franchise from. Us. That's what they trying to do. Make this beef with they trying to I'm, I bet you they're staging this beef with us. Trust me. Trust me. You know about the um the Scarface party and all that? How they put the Mitchell's house on in Puerto Rico? He's gonna be there performing with doing something with them. Who Jay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah. He's gonna be out there for that. With the um the, the release of the Scarface DVD. Jay's performing for that? And I don't need two lips to blow this like a trumpet, you dumb shit. This is an unusual musical. I conducted you looking at the black Warren Buffett, so all critics can duck sick. I don't care if you see the Lawrence Tuckett or you Bill on rally. You only rallied me up for three years. They had me peeing out in the cup. Now they about to free me up. What you think I'm gonna be? What? Rehabilitated? Man, I still feel hatred. I'm young, black, and rich, so they wanna strip me naked. But you never had me like Christina Aguilari. But catch me at the West Side driving like Halle Berry. Or the West. Fuck it. I'm piecing up, y'all. The black guy I'm on the way. And then we doing our party, so. Stop taking this shit. Rape Dame and Chris. They ran a liar through the rock in the fire. Woo. Damn you cold. Built the nation, the prop back home. How you the king of LA when Cube is home? How you banging LA after when Nip Cube. is gone? Mr. Mr. Smith, yeah, I'm nice with the gift. Two, the double tundras got those two. Your wisdom, knowledge, that I'm king too. I'm sorry I met the other side of you. Yeah. That's the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. I'm Christ from birth, from the hearse to the dirt. Fake niggas claim hurt, so I stay on my bullshit like I'm dirt and never shy. Let my feelings fly, Let's go. cause we all die. Yeah. Like y'all been, <laughs> nigga, I'm here. Only fear I have is truth not be told. We all get old, it's choke, no joke. Y'all already know. Choke, no choke. You already know. Learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms. This for the mixtape. The 50 year old platinum virgin. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not 
Sorry. <laughs>
let's just use T.I. for a minute, right? It's like everybody say, oh, T.I. is a snitch, this, that, and How you get caught with all those guns and you ain't go to jail. You only got a year. With all those guns, you go to jail. But there's no paperwork to prove that he, he told, right? I'm not saying he is, but T.I. would be the perfect example if he was a 137 source. If he told and he was a 137 source, that would explain why there's no paperwork on him telling on nobody. You don't know why he told on anybody. This, that, and the third. So that's what the difference between somebody that does a proper agreement and somebody that does a 137 agreement. They, you will never know. You will never know that these people are working, right? So listen again and stuff. I got DeHaven in the house. I'm going to bring him in one second. Listen again, all right? They had the kind of source, we call them a 270 source. And that basically meant there was somebody that was trying to work off a beat, like they had been you know, arrested for drugs, or let's say they were in prison. Which, which and Kevin Hackey was. Make want, sure you let oh, oh, people oh, know. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. No, okay. slow down. I didn't say that. I'm saying a 270 source is somebody that's willing to testify. They, they're, they're willing to get a break on whatever the situation they're caught up in. And to try to get a break, they're willing to testify. They have to testify, or we would not open them up as a 270 source. Okay. okay? Period. The other type of source is what we call the 137 source. And that's somebody that's not willing to testify, and we will never divulge their information, and we will never state whether they were an FBI source or not. And the reason for that is for a couple reasons. One, it's not only to protect the source, but two, it's to show sources out there that when the FBI gives their word, when they want somebody to cooperate, if that person is willing to cooperate, but they don't want anybody to know that they're cooperating, they don't want anybody to know the kind of information they're providing or what the reasons are that they are providing the information and cooperating, that we will never divulge their name. That includes even in front of a judge, okay? Now, that's, that's a pretty strong relationship that the FBI would have with what we call the 137 source back then, Okay. You, you understand that? You understand the distinction between the two, right? Okay, yeah, I got you. They had the kind of source, we call them a 270. They had the kind of source. All right, so y'all understand a 270 is 6'9. Six, 6'9 nine. Six, nine would be a 270 source. A motherfucker that got on the stand, snitched on his people, boom, 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 and they're going to protect him, right? Then there's the 137 source. That you not going, you could be standing right next to this nigga. And you never know this nigga be telling on niggas and sending niggas to jail. Right? So, let me give y'all some new information. Right? That's been out there, but probably flew over heads. Let me bring the Haven in. Yo, yo. Yo. What's the word, what up, man? Choke? <laughs> What's up, Choke? Hey, yeah, man. Uh, I got. I need. I need your your uh your input on this this information that I found because to be honest, only you, you just would know some, that that one thirty seven shit said I have never ever heard of no shit like that till you really put me on to that shit. Like that's a double agent. Mm -hmm. That's a Whitey Bulger type of shit. That's a I don't know. That's an untouchable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If they got them walking around, then, then, then I don't know. There's no game that could exist. Well, they, they are walking that's, around. That's a whistleblower. Like you protected. That's a whistleblower. The same shit, but you know, that's unbelievable. And then just to, for people to find out that knowledge, I'm, I'm. I could see a bunch of motherfuckers going to look for jobs, like <laughs> going, to, <laughs> going to ask for where that application at. Right. <laughs> like, yo, can I get the 137? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, no, I, tell, I don't need niggas so to know I'm selling. Yo, that's crazy. That sounds uh, absurd right there, man. That's, But that go to show you that the, that's if they want you, that's how far 
you know, they willing to, to, to go. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just it. That's that's how far they're willing to go. <laughs> they'll let somebody, don't care, Epstein or whatever, they'll let him walk around if they want you that bad. Look, look man. This is crazy. So, so now check it, right? I'm sitting there, I'm watching uh, an interview, right, about, about Jay, right? And this nigga say the craziest shit that makes me feel like he may be a 137, right? Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions, right? Jay-Z, now, he says that Emery was his best friend. We know he met Emery through you, correct? Correct. Did Jay-Z cool. know Emery in 1988? No. No. Are you 100% sure about that? I'm positive about that. That's, that's Trenton. I, I can't forget where I was at in 88. I was in Trenton. I hadn't even got to Maryland yet, 88. Okay. All right. So, in this information I'm about to reveal, right? Jay Z says that he was selling drugs with Emery. He said him and Emery was together every day. Every day. Right? Mm -hmm. Then the nigga says he goes to London with Jazz O and Emery gets knocked. That mm -hmm. timeline don't add, add up, bro. Nah, that's way off. But that's, you know, I mean, yeah, that's way off. But that's the story. That's the new narrative. Wait, you know what? Let me play it for you. Yeah. So, and everybody can see him say it for himself. He says he, him and Emery was together every day. <laughs> he was selling drugs with this nigga. And which is crazy to me because you said Jay's not in none of the paperwork. He's not knowing no wiretaps. So how was you with this nigga every day? Selling drugs with him every day. And then you go take a trip to London and he get knocked and that's what saved you? No, nigga, no, you lying. Watch, watch. This nigga's lying, Who's bro. Who's he talking to? Who he lying to? Who he talking to? You gonna see right now. At Harvard. Well, getting turned on down by Harvard, then I got to study under Ben Graham at Columbia, which changed my life. I, all kinds of things have worked out. So I just hope I stay lucky. <laughs> I've been lucky for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, uh, where, where you grew up, you could have easily have uh, yeah. ended up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there are very few people that, from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment that make it out uh i mean forget about being to be successful but make it out alive you know or, or or to be um incarcerated you know for the, i have a great friend you know who just came home was one of the most beautiful people you ever meet you know he's you know he just came home from doing 13 years and we were we were together every single day now you're paying attention right hey yo chill it's almost like a reward ceremony and shit. He like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I, my friend I was with every day, I'm expecting him to go, my man behaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a reward ceremony. I'm waiting for him to say my name. Then we can get to, yo, he did 13 years. And I'm like, hey, shit, wait a minute. Where you going with this? Yeah, I, I hear that now. Bro. Hold on, I ain't done. I ain't done. Hold on. Hold on. So he not talking about you then, right? You ain't nah. doing 13 years, right? Nah. Yeah, he told my Emery, right? Exactly. Okay, now let me take it back a little bit. Oh, listen. <laughs> it is Warren Buffett he's sitting here with. That's that white guy's Warren Buffett right here. Harvard. Well, getting turned on down by Harvard, then I got to study under Ben Graham at Columbia, which changed my life. I, all kinds of things have worked out. So I just hope I stay lucky. <laughs> I've been lucky for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> now you uh where where you grew up. You could have easily have uh, yeah. ended up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, 
there are very few people that from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment that make it out. Uh, I mean, forget about being to be successful, but make it out alive, you know, or, or, or to be um, incarcerated, you know, for the, um, I have a great friend, you know, who just came home, who's one of the most beautiful people you ever meet, you know, and he's, you know, he just came home from doing 13 years and we were, we were together every single day, you know, and had it not been for music and, um, music taking me out, you know, at the right time, you know, my life could very easily have been his very easily. We were together every single day. I'm sure you just out of London. Yeah. So, um, they, they did, you know, we were into different things. We were into a lot of uh, street things and, um, you know, just so happened I had a talent to make music and um, a guy by the name of Jazz, um, who I started out with really early, you know, he got a, the opportunity, he got to deal with EMI. He had the opportunity to go to London to record um, his album. And, uh, you know, I went along with him and we waited for two months. Well, in that two months, there was a sting operation and he took, you know, my friend I'm talking about, took him away for 13 years. And the only reason I was in there, because I was away, you know, uh, doing this music stuff. Diego, talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. You telling me that that shit with Jazz O was 88, bro? All day. All day. 88. 88 going in 89. Yeah, all day. So you tell me, Emery got locked up in 88, 89, yeah. and Jay went to London, and that's why he yeah. he, he beat that indictment? No, 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 no. Maybe them, they smoking some different shit, but that ain't it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't it. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, are, they making up, they creating their own story, their own shit, man. You know, um, that's wow. <laughs> or maybe it's just to impress. He caught off guard to impress some some bill, other billionaire niggas. I don't know. But, some niggas um, don't know nothing about the streets. And nothing. Nice. About the street. <laughs> exactly. So that's why he can make up his own story. <laughs> no, yeah, bro. That's, the that's niggas false, said bro. he escaped the indictment because nah. he went with Jazz to motherfucking London to record the album, bro. Nah, He's lying. Yeah, that's, that's not Hey, you know, <laughs> yo, the show. <laughs> like, what you? He's he's lied before. He lied. That he, I mean, you know, what it is? It, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, what do they care? If he hung out with Emery, like he said, they was together every, every day. day. How Jay Z not on the indictment, bro? How you oh, wasn't even fucking oh. with them niggas no more and you got on it. Oh, when it comes to that, um, yo, you know, you can't yo, tell he's me that. that he, he was selling drugs with Emory. Yeah. He said he's yeah, admitting he the same drugs with Emory. He's admitting they was together every day. How does Emory get indicted and not Jay-Z? How does Desiree get caught with 35 bricks? cooperate and still be rocking with jay-z how does og want all his niggas go to jail except for him yo all the pieces to the puzzle is there man what you want me to say besides yo i mean i mean is is it a coincidence you want to call it a coincidence or call it what you you know what it is like i can't see how it happened either i can't see you know from everything that happened like call it what it is like and who his people's is and who he's who he's a partnership with it's just it is what it is man he he working with them he working with them you know what i'm saying either way if you don't if it don't make sense there he still work with the late with, with with perez he's working with them bro like come on man like hey, I from like what it. i'm hearing allegedly her, 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 her family's like that, like her pops supposed to be a known informant, but he gave up 50% of the money for the 40-40. Bro, I'm just, it's, it's almost to a point, man. We, you, we already, you, you already, we already opened up Pandora's box and it seemed like, to me, all of them dudes got cases under J. <laughs> really, pretty much. <laughs> all of them dudes got cases 
um, if this shit was a movie, son, it, it'd be crazy because, you know, um, Desiree would be the fucking, like, the, the, the star of this movie right here, like, the director, the fucking writer, and everything, the way this came out. If you really look at it, this is this is this is crazy. Uh, um, she's powerful. They powerful people. They got themselves in a, a, a power position with the government. And what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It ain't hard to tell. And those who don't want to say it, act like they don't know, and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Those that's those, those little dudes that turn their head and, and then go and make a gangster album and shit. That shit don't make it. Don't even add up no more. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like all my, you know, like, I, I don't know, man. It's entertainment, so I can't blame them. But it's sucker shit. It's a whole bunch of other sucker stuff behind it and shit. You know what I mean? Like, these dudes can't be themselves and shit. I heard you speak about that the other day. Like, these niggas, you got industry friends, but they can't be your friends. That shit sound, it's just like, nah, nigga, these niggas ain't men out here. Yeah. That you see, like, you know, what you call it? They like uh Emory, he'll go do interviews and he'll refer to you as an old friend or something like that. And they say Jay Z's his brother. Like, nigga, you ain't know Jay Z before D Haven. And why he can't say your name? Because Jay will be mad. It ain't nothing wrong with saying, yo, we had, you know, D Haven introduced us, this, that, and other. We know we fell it out. Is, it is a lot wrong with it. It is a lot wrong with it. It is a lot wrong with it when you look at the bigger picture. It's a, it's a hell of a lot wrong with it because they know that that gives me a good look. They know that I'm a, like, I'm going to eat off that shit. I'm a prof, I'm a profit off of that. If they say shit like that. And for them not to want to, don't want to see me eat. That shit just makes it even, that give me more ambition, but that shit makes the, the story even get cr more creepier. Like, damn, y'all niggas don't want to see me. Right. right? I don't get that. And then you talk some La Familia, y'all talk about Black Ellison, Stop the Hate, all this non-violent shit, but you really sh exposed to me that you don't want to see a nigga eat. All of y'all. It's only a conspiracy against me, which I'm cool with it because I'm still going to do me. You know what I'm saying? By y'all silencing my name just makes me bigger. Yeah, but it ain't just you. You, you see what... Uh, uh, um... I just said about Steve Stout and them how they was having me is to get Dame out the fucking way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. All that shit is man. All that shit is crappy, yo. Nothing, nothing was honorable about none of that shit. Everybody did something to somebody. Somebody did something to nobody. And nobody want to admit to what it is and get past it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 they all, everything was a plot. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the big picture is behind it. Look where they at and, and, and look where we at. Look where that, that empire took it with the partnership they went on with. You know, they, they couldn't take everybody over there. Hell no. Now you it makes sense that? why they had the government no, seals on the hats. Yeah, they can't take everybody over there, but these niggas want to go. Yeah, that's the they definitely want to go. They definitely want to go though. Like right now, if Jay Z wanted to do a, a, a Rockefeller tour, he done shit it on everybody. But I guarantee you, T -U, these niggas will be at the airport. The they'll, be at T they'll be at the airport, yep. loaded up with their bags. And yep. shit, you know what I'm saying? And yo, know, bro, I can't tell you pressure bus pipes, and you don't know what somebody's situation is. So them being there, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it could be all about them feeding their children and getting the opportunity. So I don't look at it. I can't be in the next man's shoes. Yeah, It's almost like everybody that asks me, yo, I want to see y'all really come together. Um, yo, in the reality of it, son, we can't. I can't respect none of that. I, I can't respect. Would I like to sit down and have a conversation? Yeah, but us us building from there, having something, how? How, man? And I don't hate them, but I just don't see it. I can see us having a conversation and, you know, and me clear my head and he clear his head about things that happen or whatever, but us really 
having a relationship? How? It ain't about me having, I can't respect it. Yeah. And I'm damn sure not gonna respect the niggas on the side. The, the, the other niggas that I put on that's there, I'm not gonna respect them for not even for not standing up for me. So I ain't it's not gonna work. Yeah, because like, he you knows if he he squash shit and be cool with you, then now they want to come in. Right. Be, I'm not gonna it's not gonna work that way because I'm not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I wish them the best though, but the, I'm saying the hate, don't don't act me, don't don't act like y'all ain't hating. Right. <laughs> don't do that. We you know, know y'all hating. We right. know y'all hating. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like blocking, y'all doing everything y'all fucking can. It's shit. But, that's why it, I don't stop. Because kissing this nigga ass don't make sense. Don't, man. And these niggas on the outside, man, these cheerleader niggas, they, they don't know. They ain't never been, niggas they ain't never really been in deep to understand it. And I appreciate them niggas that really stand on the outside that know what it is. That's why a lot of people don't. Man, this shit is old game is fucked up, bro. <laughs> it is, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's messed up, man. It, it is, man. Um, I just continue to tell my story, bro, and and that's it. It's just my story. And like you, you see how he just, he just said this? This is their narrative, right? And this is how they want to perceive this story to Ben. He's been with Emery every day, every day. <laughs> but you can, you know what I'm saying? But the music don't say But you're not in the indictment? Yeah, and you're not in it, bro. It's um, you ain't in the wiretaps, nothing, bro. It's, it's people on indictment that don't even know they on a, that they don't even know they on an indictment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I explained to someone about the snitching, and, and you know, the person be like, you know, they caught me. I took my time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but the thing is that they caught you, right? And they caught you doing reckless shit, you know what I'm saying? When you did reckless shit, you talked to 15 other people on that phone. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't pick up all 15. They just picked up eight. Right. And, and they're gonna and they gonna keep an open case of the eye on the rest of them. But the fact of the matter, you ain't you, you ain't like you did some stand-up shit. No, you fucked up. And the mob will wipe you out for that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So all this, oh, I still, I stood tall shit. Nah, you took a lot of people down on that reckless phone calls, that phone that you, one phone brought 15 niggas down or some shit like, you know? Right. Come on, bro. So that's, that's, that's a form of indirectly snitching. Right. Because you made the block, you made that block hot, that block hot, that block hot. That's, a, <laughs> they got to get rid of you. So just because they ain't picked some people up and some people got deals and this and that, but like you said, man, it ain't, and, and, and I, I would say, I, I can't explain why he ain't, you know, um, his name has not come up. Um, you know, uh, being that I was at the head of that case. See, people get that fucked up, bro, that they, where my name was on that case, you know what I'm saying? I was the, the, the main character in that movie over there. You know what I'm saying? And they try to make it be like, yeah, Emery, uh, Emery did this and hold his own and shit. And I'm like, well, I really kept all of y'all out of jail, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Emery got blessed for doing whatever much time, but you know, at the end of the day, nigga, the nigga that kept it 100, that kept everybody solid, what, the, what, what do they get? So I had to do time to get compensated. That's what you're telling me. I was only going to get compensated if I had to go in and do a lot, do life. Right. Oh, and, then, and then these niggas tell me, oh, man, you, son, you still talking about it? Bro, <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I'm saying to you? That niggas try to leave me in there for the rest of my life. And I don't hate them, bro. God, you know, God bless me with forgiveness, but for my life, but I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm never gonna forget that. And then the people played along the backside to watch it. Same people I helped get in position, man. So, you know, I feel Dame pain too, but they had to feel mine first. Shit, everybody saw mine first. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so I'm just glad that some people can get past it, man. Cause some people, it's man, and it, it and when I talk about this shit, man, it, it, y'all don't even know. It's it's so many other people involved as life is gone. 
that that sacrifice some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? That they ain't look out for. You know what I'm saying? Their lives is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They never gonna get back. You know what I'm saying? So, man, a nigga could tell me all day, I don't give a fuck, a billionaire, whatever, bro. You can't tell me that them niggas could live and sleep comfortable with what some of the shit I know they've done. I don't care what you say. I'll be out here at least trying to correct them. I can't sleep with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Unless it's a clause, well, I must be a clause. And if I'm a clause, right? What my what my mom have to do with it? If I'm a clause, then what what your god daughter got to do about it? You know what I'm saying? This should be deep, bro. It yeah, is, it be deep. It is deep. You know what I mean? Well, that's I know. So one I don't thing. mean to turn this into nothing else, but yeah, Joe, yeah. it is nah, what it man. is. It's one of those situations where nah, nigga, they ask about you. You cool with them either way, son. It, you play right into that position. It's nothing to really. What we talking about here? <laughs> he plays into the position. He, he wasn't in no work. He wasn't on this. They didn't ask about this. And my part and his partner is her. I mean, what, what, how you want you to? How you want to paint that shit? Right. And the truth and the worst thing about it, these niggas, you know, them niggas still want to get down with the get down. <laughs> and niggas still go around this nigga running their mouth. Now like, that I can't, you know, they wild. Like these niggas think he is still a street nigga. They bring their street niggas around these niggas, and then next thing you know, they people getting locked up and they don't know why. Mm, man, um, they do oh, I want, I want, I want to play this again one more time for the people that just came in to see if it makes sense one more time. I know it don't make no sense, no. but let's see. <laughs> now you, uh, where where you grew up. You could have easily have uh, ended yeah. up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there are very few people that, from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment, that make it out. Uh, I mean, forget about being to be successful, but make it out alive, you know, or, or, or to be um, incarcerated, you know, for the, um, I have a great friend, you know, who just came home was one of the most beautiful people you ever meet you know he's you know he just came home from doing 13 years and we were we were together every single day you know and had it not been for music and um music taking me out you know at the right time you know my life could very easily have been his very easily we were together every single day i mentioned you know. the story about london yeah so um they, they did, you know, we were into different things. We were into a lot of uh, street things. And, um, you know, just so happened I had a talent to make music. And um, a guy by the name of Jazz, um, who I started out with really early, you know, he got a, the opportunity, he got to deal with EMI. He had the opportunity to go to London to record um, his album. And, uh, you know, I went along with him and we waited for two months. Well, in that two months, there was a sting operation and he took, you know, my friend I'm talking about, took him away for 13 years. And the only reason I was in there, because I was away, you know, uh, doing this music stuff. Amazing. Uh, business models. Amazing is right. Amazing ass lie, nigga. <laughs> yo, yo, honestly, it don't even sound, you know, he don't sound believable. Like, first of all, you Brooklyn using, um, um, beautiful with another man and none of that shit sound authentic you get what i'm saying like yeah, what nigga call another nigga beautiful what dude that's what i'm trying to tell you it's like he in, um he's in an environment he he's not relaxed in this conversation you know what i'm saying like like he's nervous or yo this is not planned you know what i'm saying so it ain't come off as al j that i know that's flow with that shit like oh nah my man Oh, I come from where I come from. It's really, yo, know, boom, boom, boom. None of that shit came off like that because he has to make it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't, and then I got to- I, I can't, and let me tell you, and it's so deep, right? That they got to actually study to stay away from my name. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, he can't say it. So it's it's got to be like, yeah, my man, he got to, you gotta, you know, I can't, 
they got to make sure. Like, that shit is hard for him to tell a story. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you got to dodge this name in, your, in these golden years of when you was hustling. Nah. It's hard, bro. So yeah. a nigga got to make it up, and it's going to come off like, oh, man, that shit don't even sound authentic. Like he, did, he, he was does up. that with name name too. Like when it comes to building the business, he'll say uh, we or, or stuff. He'll never mention Dame name and it looked like he built this whole shit by itself. Man, you know, it is what it is, man. When that shit is oh, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, hold on. How do you listen to this? How do you hang with Emory every day? Y'all was together every day, and the feds knock him and they didn't see you. And you hear him with the work? How you with him every day? Every day. And the feds grab him and they don't grab you, bro. And y'all partners? Come on, bro. Are we fucking stupid out here? <laughs> Joe, they are stupid out here, Joe. Why you keep you don't want to believe that they are, yo? Yo. Yo, these niggas is on some, some real nut eating shit, bro. There's no way a nigga say I was with this nigga every day and the feds come and grab him. He do 13 years and your ass ain't in the paperwork, nowhere, a phone call, a wiretap, nothing. And you say you was selling drugs with this nigga and y'all was together every day. And you go and jump on a plane and go to London to record for two months which is a bald face lie. When the sting, he said, when the sting operation hit, he was over in London. That nigga's lying, bro. <laughs> when you was in London with Jazz, that was '88. When year did Emory get knocked? For this fair case, that's '98, bro. That's Thank you, bro. And this interview with Warren Buffett, you know, is like. 2016 or some shit. So he said yeah. he just came home. How he just came home in the 2000s and you saying in 88 you went with Jazzo to record for two two months and that's with the sting operation that you ducked. So you don't think the feds would have been way, it would have been easier for them to catch you coming back from London, nigga. You would have had it as soon as you came in the country, they would have grabbed you right there at the airport, brother. Hey, listen, Choke. At this point, right, I already see how powerful they are, bro. I don't want to get you. Don't listen to me, right? I'm uh, I'm good. You good. They get it. <laughs> listen to me, right? I'm a believer of the team they play, the team they on over there, bro. Like, they really, like, I don't care to be. It is what it is. You see what it is with the black and white, bro. These motherfuckers ain't gonna see that, but I don't want to. Um, yeah, all right, we're we gonna leave them alone then, okay? I yeah, get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't, man. I, I, we ain't doing shit to no be worried about but... Anyway, Marcy May gonna tell it all anyway, the series, man, so you can see it unfold, bro. But anyway, man, choke you do when you come with your bro, you, you we open this so many times so much so much and you know we know what it is man like i said same niggas is hating still they they tell you that billionaires don't hate they ain't gonna hate on us <laughs> who, who are we they ain't gonna hate y'all they ain't thinking about yeah well them niggas ain't paying attention to y'all them niggas, them niggas way up here they ain't watching y'all yeah right yeah, jay watching right now what up jay <laughs> <laughs> oh uh but uh, peace and blessings, bro, uh, on the next one. <laughs> uh, I'll hit you later, bro. We'll holler at you, all right? I'll call you when I get off, because I ain't done. That's what's up. All right. <laughs> all right, one. See how they got niggas scared? Niggas don't even want to. Niggas see how powerful they are. We, we can't even talk. We can't even talk. And y'all stupid people out there, not y'all intelligent ones, y'all stupid ones, y'all just going to idolize because, oh, nigga, you got a billionaire. He a billionaire. He a billionaire. 
The fucking proof be right in y'all face. And y'all still be out here nut eating. Y'all still be out here nut eating. It, yo, it's disgusting. Gary F, good looking. Tyra, good looking. Get down to lay down. Get down to lay down. Now, if you was watching the other day, if you're new here, please subscribe. That, that's my, my donation. If you can donate, hit the subscribe button. That 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 that's a the subscribe button's a dollar. It's free, but that's you giving me a dollar. Just hit that subscribe button. It's free, but that's your donation. If you got love and support, just hit that do uh, subscribe button. That's all I ask, please. The like, too, if you don't mind. But subscribe. I got to uh, surpass these whack niggas. So now, if you've been paying attention and you've been watching, if you're not new here, you know about me talking about Blue Ivy dancing to that Zulu song. Um, what's the name of that song? Hold on. My Power. Y'all know I was talking about Blue performing during that break in the show where she's singing the, the Zulu chick is singing My Demon Has Awakened and all that stuff and it was sound, sounding very satanic like they was talking about Satan was rising or whatever, right? Now y'all remember I was saying that It was satanic. The all the whole stage was red, blue and red, everybody in red. It looking like they in hell, right? Y'all remember that, right? Don't tell me Beyonce's not watching me. They went and changed the music, bro. I talked about her looking like Aaliyah. They went and changed the hair. And then I sat down and I broke down that song because every time she was dancing on the on the tour, it was during the part that was in Zulu that people didn't understand the language. So I went and I transcribed the language, and it was saying that you know like Satan and and the, was the king and, and and the demon has awakened this down over right. Look what they did. Look how they changed the music. Y'all remember this song, right? It was that uh, My Power song, right? Now look what they did. I'm using this under fair use. Look what they did. They changed the hair and they changed the music. Watch. Same dance moves.
<laughs> How about that? Wait, do I still got the old one? Let me see if I got the old one. Remember, she was dressed like this before, right? Oh, I know where to go. It goes Zulu, yeah. They go to Zulu, listen. This was the ritualistic shit. See the difference? They took it, took the Zulu shit out. They moved the music. Yeah, I think they don't be paying attention. Now, I just had like a weird thought. And I'm going to say it just in case I'm I'm right again. But I'm going to say it. I'm just going to jump out the window. I'm definitely going to jump out the window with this one. But my instincts is telling me that what they doing with Blue Ivy is going to be the next stage in the LGBTQ community where they're going to start making children start dressing more mature or more older. They're going to start making the kids 
grow up faster. Because if you pay attention to, to Blue, uh, she's already wearing makeup, dressing in, I don't know, she might have the little fake heels inside her shoe because she's looking really tall, unless she's just that tall for a fifth grader or 11-year-old. But I think that the demonic side of the industry, their next stage and that whole LGBTQ shit is to start making the kids act more mature than they really are. Dress more mature than they really are. I think that's that's the angle that they get ready to, to uh, take the children. Probably so these weird ass Pedophilia people could date children. Because let me show you some. It's starting to become a thing where people are starting to see this, right? I'm using this under fair use, right? Check this out. The world's most famous baby is a baby no more. Jay-Z and Beyonce's daughter isn't the same kid that last appeared on the NBA's cameras. Let's take a look at just how fast Blue Ivy Carter has grown up. The NBA Finals attracted all the big name basketball fans, yet none hold a candle to the one and only Jay-Z. So when the icon blessed the crowd with his presence during game five of the 2022 Finals, viewers quickly noticed Princess B was sat courtside with her father and Blue Ivy was looking like a mini Beyonce. She even had the earrings to match. When the cameras honed in on the adorable dad and daughter duo, Jay-Z wrapped his arm around his little girl. Only Blue Ivy clearly wanted to be left alone. She looked ready to make like her dad and brush her shoulders off. Dads embarrassing their kids is nothing new, but try putting up with that when you're on the Jumbotron. Blue has made basketball fans feel old, but it's not the first time a famous kid has seemingly skipped a few years of growing up. The NBA faithful couldn't believe their eyes when Riley Curry showed up in the stands in early 2022. You could have sworn she was barely old enough to walk. Everyone remembers when Steph's little girl hijacked his press conference and put her own spin on Big Sean's blessings. It doesn't seem that long ago, but Riley is now almost 10 years old. I guess you could say she's grown way up. Blue Ivy Carter and her connection with basketball fans is hardly surprising. Her dad has had ties with the NBA for years. And from 2003 to 2013, Jay-Z was actually part owner of the Nets. The legendary rapper was the one to unveil the team's new branding after the franchise moved from New Jersey to Brooklyn. The relocation and the fresh new look led to insane merchandise sales for the team. In just the first two days of Brooklyn's slick black and white wear being on sale, the franchise sold 10 times what they typically shifted while in New Jersey. Just like Rockaware, Nets jerseys were flying off the shelves thanks to Jay-Z. Sorry, Drake, but Sean Carter is the real MVP of famous basketball fans. 
the 24-time Grammy Award winner stays loyal to the game. And so seeing his baby girl courtside has long been a familiar sight at tip-off. The on-court action of the NBA remains daddy and daughter bonding time for Blue and her mega Still under fair use here. We still under fair use here. Two days after Blue Ivy was born, Time Magazine titled her the most famous baby in the world. And that's a title that she still holds with her achievements, stylish looks, and enough sass to have paparazzi following her every move. As the first daughter of Beyonce and Jay-Z, it seems impossible for Blue to do anything under the radar. But with the trend of her things surrounding her childhood and celebrity lifestyle, we have to pause and actually wonder if we're letting things slide because of who her parents are. Today, we're taking a closer look at the problematic things we all ignore about Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy. Famous from birth. Any child that Beyonce and Jay-Z have is bound to be famous, but Blue Ivy's superpower has been incredible since birth. Even before birth, Beyonce's pregnancy with Blue was first cited at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards red carpet. And later, during her performance, Beyonce told the crowd, Tonight I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to feel the love that's growing inside of me. And then she cradled her baby bump, bringing all the spotlight to baby Blue before she even had a name. Of course, the media was in love with Beyonce's daughter before they knew her. But with that love came a lot of attention and some of it was truly toxic. Comb her hair. Within the first few months of her life, Blue Ivy was a constant headline in the news. And while most of that news was cute, some of it derailed into problematic zones. Like that time, some people thought it was a good idea to start a petition against Beyonce and Jay-Z for apparently not brushing her daughter's hair. It seemed like every time a new picture of the then toddler was released, her hair was the definition of I woke up like this, which was pretty normal for a two-year-old with natural kinky looks. And while a lot of people didn't think too much about it, some people felt strongly enough about this. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local recordings are now available on StreamYard. Have you ever done a situation to the point where someone actually started a petition about it on change.org? The since deleted petition was called Comb Her Hair, and the creator wrote, as a woman who understands the importance of hair care, it's disturbing to watch a child suffering from the lack of hair moisture. The parents of Blue Ivy, Sean Carter, AKA Jay-Z and Beyonce, has failed at numerous attempts of doing Blue Ivy hair. This matter has escalated to the child developing matted dreads and lint balls. Please, let's get the word out to properly care for Blue Ivy hair. And it seems like a lot of people agreed with this as the petition got about 5,000 signatures while it was live. And these signatures were supported with comments like, cruelty to children has to stop. Annie Campbell, Blue Ivy's father, Jay-Z, likes to brag about his charmed life while his wife is dripping in expensive weaves, jewelry, and designer gowns. Beyonce's mother was a hair salon owner. Please comb that clown's, or er, baby's hair. Mrs. M. Hart. The idea that grown adults were talking about a baby's hair like this was problematic enough, but Beyonce's response to the situation wasn't entirely helpful either. According to HuffPost, the pop star was spotted picking up baby relaxer products at a drugstore shortly after the petition went viral, and she posted a cryptic note with a baby comb at the corner page. The note read, fine, I'll do it. Y'all happy? Damn. Well, Beyonce may have done that to get the internet off her daughter's back, but the next problematic thing wasn't as easy to shut down. The trademark battle. When Blue Ivy was born, the internet had a field day about her unique name. There were theories, and the most popular public opinion was like this person on Twitter who said, I'm sorry, Beyonce's daughter's name is Blue Ivy? 
threatening famous parents. Unfortunately, that does but never happens again. I'm tired of rich kids getting everything handed to them for doing nothing. You're rich and famous. The weekend wasn't even children will never experience. Elites are the real systemic problem plaguing America. The youngest people ever to receive a Grammy Award, and she remains the youngest person to have received a Grammy Award for Best Music Video. Her appearance and vocal contribution on Beyonce's Brown Skin Girl alongside WizKid was the credit that got her the award, but people believe that it was actually a case of privilege because her parents are two of the most famous people in the world. As one person said on Twitter, Blue Ivy is enjoying the benefits of privilege that millions of children will never experience. Elites are the real systemic problem plaguing America. And on an unpopular opinion subreddit, someone wrote, That kid can't even sing. She only got a Grammy because her mommy and daddy are rich and famous. The weekend wasn't even nominated. In your talking time, this kid, who had less talent than the baby shark kid, gets a Grammy? There are people who work 10 times harder and can sing 10 times better who didn't get anything. And this rich kid gets one of the biggest music awards ever just for having a famous mommy. This was ridiculous, and I hope it never happens again. I'm tired of rich kids getting everything handed to them for doing nothing. But Blue Ivy isn't exactly doing nothing. She dances and has participated quite seriously in some of Beyonce's live performance choreography, with tons of appearances in her parents' music videos. However, we also can't deny that she's a nepotism baby that enjoys the benefits of having famous parents. Unfortunately, that does mean she has to be a public personality instead of just being a child. From hiring a personal stylist to get blue red carpet ready, to taking her on tour and basically throwing her into the deep end of the entertainment industry way before she's even a teenager, Beyonce and Jay-Z have turned Blue's childhood into a head start on her career. And that's led fans to wonder if Blue may be growing up way too fast. Growing up too fast. Blue Ivy has more star power than a lot of up-and-coming Hollywood acts, but some of that power may be aging her faster than her preteen years. While she still has the adolescent mannerisms of cringing when her dad draws attention to her in public. With us in the Bay and here at Chase Center tonight, 24 time Grammy Award winner. Blue is nothing like your average 10 year old. And people have noticed how she's starting to not look her age either. In a picture shared by Tina Knowles on Blue's 10th birthday, the Grammy Award winning preteen looked stunning and taller than her grandmother. Yo, bro, this girl's 10 years old. You see how they got her dressing, bro? I'm telling y'all, I think Beyonce and Jay-Z is getting ready to start a trend for your grown, your kids to look like grown-ass kids, yo. Little kids, little girls are going to want to, they're going to want to mimic her. She wearing lipstick. She wearing big ass hoop earrings. She wearing big hairstyles. Yo, bro, this is a fuck. This she ten years old right here. That's a fourth grader right there standing with her grandmother. A fucking fourth grader, bro. Yo, bro. Now they got her performing up here with these grown ass people. Beyonce got a whole bunch of gay men on the stage with her dancing. Damn near the entire show. It ain't even no women for the most part. She got all these gay gay men dancing on her, trans men dancing on, on the stage with her. And got this baby, a fifth grader. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. I'm telling you, they getting ready to groom y'all kids and to start addressing older. And then they going to have these fucking adults fucking on these young kids bro and they gonna approve pedophilia watch what i'm telling you watch what i'm telling you and of course people were quick to talk about it reacting to the photo someone said i had to award winner blue is nothing like Yo, bro, look at this little girl right here, bro. Yo, are they? Yo, bro. Look at this little girl right here, bro. She probably like five right here, bro. Your average 10-year-old.
Yo, bro, look how they got her dressed, bro. Yo, man. And people have noticed how she's starting to. Yo, bro. Yo, bro, look at this shit right here, bro. They going to hell, bro. They going to hell. They are going to hell. Not look her age either. In a picture shared by Tina Knowles on Blue's 10th birthday, the Grammy award-winning preteen looked stunning and taller than her grandmother. And of course, people were quick to talk about it. Reacting to the photo, someone said, I had to pause for a second and think, who's that standing next to Tina? Since when was Blue this grown? And another person tweeted, Blue is Tina's height already. I thought that was a grown woman in the photo. Maybe it's the silk press. Maybe it's her stylist's choices of mature outfits. Maybe it's just social media showing its ugly side. But for some reason, Blue seems to be looking way older than her age. And it's just problematic to think that tabloids may start hypersexualizing the young girl. And if people overreacting to how she looks is a problem, wait till you find out just how much Blue spends. How much is too much? Jay-Z and Beyonce have a combined net worth of almost $2 billion. So it's no surprise that their first daughter has a net worth of $500 million. With that much money in the bank, it's only right for Blue to indulge in some expensive hobbies. And lately, her favorite pastime seems to be auctions. Blue went viral for trying to outbid Tyler Perry at the Wearable Art Gala in 2018, when she placed a $17,000 bid on an acrylic painting of a young Sidney Poitier. Tyler Perry fired back with $18,000, but Blue was quick to put up her hand, bidding $19,000, while her dad Jay-Z jokingly tried to get the then six-year-old to put her paddle down. Tyler Perry eventually won that round, but Blue Ivy wasn't ready to give up on bidding wars. At the 2022 Wearable Art Gala event, Blue had her sights set on a pair of Lorraine Schwartz earrings worn by her grandmother and the event's co-founder, Tina Knowles, and previously owned by Beyonce. The earrings were the highest priced lot of the evening, and just as someone else was about to get the set for $80,000, Blue jumped into action, literally. As the hall burst out in surprise, Blue waved her paddle while standing, and she seemed eager to get the earrings for $95,000. Unfortunately, the 10-year-old lost out on the earrings as they were sold for $105,000. $80,000, But what's truly problematic about Blue's access to money is how it can be destructive. Hollywood celebrity kids and an unimaginable amount of unsupervised money do not have the best track record together. But considering who her parents are, maybe things will turn out positively different for Blue. As much as we love Blue Ivy, we can't deny the amount of privilege that she enjoys because her parents are Beyonce and Jay-Z. Being a celebrity's kid is one thing, but Blue Ivy is basically a celebrity herself at this point. And maybe that's why people don't spend too much time talking about these problematic issues surrounding her upbringing. While Beyonce and Jay-Z seem to be doing everything differently with parenting their twins, Sir Carter and Rumi, they obviously have had some questionable slip-ups in Blue's upbringing. But hey, if anyone can turn these problematic things around and raise Blue Ivy to be as successful and confident as we already know she can be, it's definitely Beyonce and Jay-Z. So we'll just have to wait and watch her continue to grow in the spotlight. So are any of these things problematic enough to mean trouble for Blue when she's an adult? Do you think the media attention is forcing Blue Ivy to grow up faster than her age? Or is it just a side effect of her famous family? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to click on... Now, I know a bunch of y'all going to say, oh, that's they kid. She's a star. It don't mean nothing. Okay. 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 When your kid asks to go to the Beyonce concert because they want to see Blue Ivy dance and be subjected to all that sexual shit, all that cursing and everything before Blue Ivy come out, Go ahead and program your child.
Go ahead, let them hear all that shit. Go ahead. Go ahead and let your kid wear makeup and all that stuff before. Do you know how many niggas go in clubs and meet women that's underage, that look grown, and then they go and sleep with them and find out later that they was underage? It ain't strange to y'all that this girl is in the fifth grade on this ex super gay tour. Yo, let me tell you, like, I did a show the other day. I don't know if y'all seen. Y'all could go back and where I showed Beyonce at the Grammys after the dude Sam Smith do that satanic ass goddamn performance talking about, uh, Unholy and CBS talking about, oh, we ready to worship. And after he do the unholy and CBS talking about they ready to worship, talking about Satan, and he do this whole goddamn satanic shit, they bring Beyonce out right behind Stan, uh, Sam Smith. And do what do Beyonce say? She say that she want to give props to the queer community for creating the genre of dance music, right? And then she said, I want to thank my uncle Johnny who made my dress, this, that, and the third. Like, and then I also showed y'all Beyonce and Jay-Z at the gay, the gay awards, the GLAAD awards, where they got the Vanguard Award. This is supposed to be heterosexual couple get the biggest gay award. Jay-Z got on pink. And Beyonce got on a, a man's suit dress. She's dressing like a dyke. This nigga's dressing like a broad, right? I showed y'all that, right? I told y'all Beyonce is now the queen of the gays. Her whole tour, a number gay men on the stage dressed up like trans. She ain't even got too many female dancers. It's all gay men and trans people on the tour, right? The whole tour, the crowd that's going to see this Renaissance tour is a gay crowd. So gay that now they done made Beyonce's dead uncle famous. All the gays at the show is praising Beyonce's dead gay uncle. You can't make this shit up. Beyonce, gay, dead uncle Johnny is famous for making her dress in a song. She said this in a song, bro. And now the fucking Renaissance tour pays tribute to her gay, gay uncle. And then look what uh, Tina writes for that. Thank you. 
He said to the tiger, So look what Tina says for now. Look, people all over the world are saying my beloved nephew Johnny's name. I still cannot get over my heart. My BFF, my Johnny being famous. Uncle Johnny made my dress, that cheap spandex. She looks a mess. I can hear Johnny saying, that dress is late Lucy, just terribly late. He is truly smiling from heaven. So now Beyonce is queen of the gays and Jay-Z is the king of the gays. You can't make none of this up. You cannot make up none of this. Go to that tour. You better put some cotton in your ears. Because you're going to be uh, under a ritual that you don't have no idea about. Pay attention. Pay attention. It's going to be a lot of witchcraft at that show. Pay attention. Pay attention. I need y'all to think. Stop being fans. Stop being fans. Put your thinking caps on. Don't give people a pass because they famous that they can have a five-year-old, I mean, a fifth grader, fifth grader, 11-year-old, beat his groom. Don't give them a pass because they famous. Because if they wasn't famous and it was your neighbor's kid and they walked out the house and they fifth grader was looking dressed like that, you would say something. Whether you say something to your neighbor or to your, your family, you're going to say something. You're going to be uncomfortable. Do not let Hollywood make your people look at things different and do not let your children copy this. It's all right with your kids doing ballet and all that other stuff, but they should not be at no grown folk show. Stop giving people passes because they celebrities. We all the same. We all the same. Some people done got a little more publicity because of TV and radio, this, that, and other, but we all came out of vagina. All of us, every last one of us came out of vagina. Ain't nobody more special than the other one. Protect these babies. Protect these babies at all costs. Some of these people signed up some or for some real wicked stuff. They signed for some signed up for some real wicked stuff. Stop idolizing unless you out here, unless you ready to worship Satan your damn self. Stop idolizing. Call a spade a spade. Pay attention. Pay attention.
Joke, no joke. I'll be back tomorrow. Holla back. Joke, no joke. I ain't DR. My man Delvin. See you. Yeah. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. And Dominican Republic. All right? Yeah. We here. Yeah. Joke, no joke. Primo, you ain't want to give me no beat, so I'm stealing one. Take it personal. You know you my guy, Primo. Love you. You going to give me a beat after this one. I never thought that you would cry at me, go against me, and backstab me. Third eye is strong, word is bond. Put you on the fakes, and now you won. I gave you support, and you play me. For those who play with butt, yeah, I'm talking. Breakfast club, revolt, whatever. All I know is birds of a feather hang with those that they hate. Once the realness, now you fake, and I see through you. What you gon' do when they book you and your duke shoot? I know you think I'm expose you. This ain't no threat, take it personal. Choke, no joke. 2023, it's on me. You hear me? 2023 is on me. They say, why I don't come around the game? Cause all y'all dudes undercover gay. And I don't play those fucking games. Yo, stop the track, I'm fucking Slay. Rest in peace, K Slay, man. Let's get to the next one. Shout out to Boosie. This one to go out to you, Boosie. Stay the hell. Don't follow those cats. The niggas that be on the gram. Tell them what they doing. <laughs> Choke, no joke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke. Let's go. You already know. Make it low. Let's go. My aim was enlightened. Drop jewels on you. And I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you I'm the dude to a game, you got school Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves I'm paranoid and preaching, you was sleeping Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing Learn from mistake, no sure I got cake And press a nigga to rob me, bitch still my fate Get knocked by the fence, lay up four by eight Ass so busy flossing, ain't thinking about Jake Loose, yapping, they wiretapping, videotaping, your ways of action. Front like Tom's hard, got a two door garage. Ice like Liberage, with no damn job. Without a reasonable doubt, you think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry. He got a job, B. You shining on doctors with four degrees. Laugh because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, PDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. We not dolo for cash, you go solo. Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo. Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack. No niggas dust that I wouldn't flip like that. What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit, struggling. Give you the kicks, used to stick for gooses. Warm when we pump deuces, bring night in the jacks, trying to see millions like Bruce. You don't act like you used to, I'm the dude. When niggas was friends, you like, yo, yo, go, go. I wet you like McLean for those who claim to be pain. The game of death, that's what you get when got game. Ill with automatics, we never static. You carry that niggas, put one in your cabbage. Fear, don't have it, you fill me with laughter. In OG and C, they know a rich you gonna clap her. Like Dan get dapper, see a mill be Casper. Like Dre the doctor, the map for math them. Say DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. With your pockets, cop eyes, 
flocking. Yeah. She's somewhere in Houston. You blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait. Through the line, she caught it. Gave her all that loot. She couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all. I'm feeling hell. Blue pop in your face, daddy. All about Benjamin. Remember me? I'm your friend. Say the end. I shot you. Used to slay bitches like Bumpy. Thinking why they cuff me? Think of the luxuries you had. In the cell with other willies, you brag. I pushed the big bed for 20 year trim. Went in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class listen. Through the rules of the game, you played yourself my position. Stay DL, be DL and L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL and L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL and L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Yo, Sean, yo, Sean, yo, Sean, hold on, son, it's me, yo, I see, you ain't noticed me, yo, I all see, all these man. diamonds and stuff, yo, how can this I not, fat diamond ring I got, yo, yo, what you talking about, yo, yo diamonds, yo, 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 Don't follow those cats. Choke those jokes. You already know. Let's go out the gray go. Now I'm out the game. Feel good, not pitching in the hood. And I really don't think I could go back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same. And now nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, grams in the drain. Getting hit with the fake exchange. Like bacon soda flour. After being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Niggas testing if I got hard. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before the start. Old lady with the binocs. Give description to cops. Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop. I ain't going for the game, he ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with him, saying the same. You tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking them down. The they might fuck you if you ain't sane. And nigga never sniff cocaine. And I don't care what game or part of the area you claim. Gray Scarface, you must be insane. Nigga, Tony fucked the boy's name. His right hand man, he's slain to get his back blown out the game. Do it on the low, let nobody know. No pillow talk to home. And if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. They say that change is good. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga in public like Sean. For a witness to drop a dime for self-defense, do a dime. Celebs doing time. Mike Vick on the chow line. Even Kobe, Jason Williams, Gage, kick like Shinobi. Little Kim for perjury. Uh, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? When it's late night, make sure it's packed tight. And when you take those flights, never eye the Jake in sight. And shake them fuckers when they dead to right. Uh, making a fifth go rumble because of stick of trouble. Blasting your gap for a cat, for a fact, with some crap that don't involve you. For some dudes that don't love you, all they wanna do is pawn you until you go down. And don't do shit for you when you lie down Or even when you touch down But to tell you to go to the pound The same block that gave you a pound Years in the pen, now you live it again What my state do you in? When you back it for 10 And you was just waiting for a team to come home To relive it again Entrapment should be a sin 
the way they reel us in. We're rolling to a revolver door to bring us in. This shit is insane. The game is insane. The game will fuck with your brain. That's why I'm out the game. Yeah. Just get out the game, man. I know they told y'all there's only two ways out. Jail and death. Nah, just get out, nigga. Just get out, man. It's easy. Just walk away, nigga. If they care about you, they'll let you go. If you in the game and you want to go and get a better life and they won't let you walk away, what do that say? Get out the game, nigga. You want to sleep easy, nigga. Look at these rap niggas, nigga. Trapper, clapper, federal indictment rapper, huh? I keep telling y'all niggas, man, get out the game, man. Joke, no joke. Grego, you already know. The beast is chemical, baby. That's why I'm out the game. Check it out. Choke no joke. Learn from mistakes. DJ S and S the great. It ain't no telling. You be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling. You be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon. Best day of my life. No sleep all night. Broke day for weeks. My cash was right. My combo tight. Take our loot, unite. 23 hour shifts. How does he look like Mike? Cash, lovely, yeah, Dougie How could this day get so ugly? Wifey about to pop, like some bubbly Yo, do those now moths, do really bug me Felt like a star, cop first car Get up with the guard, what it is, baby, pa? Get about to cop a van, get up with our mans Before we reached our low spot, toes blam Underwear, what happened, discussing the clapping it wasn't loud, ain't shit gonna happen Me being stupid, instead of getting they moving This nigga kept chefing, like the woo one Then we heard a knock, no one knew of this spot Since niggas in the spot, since niggas not Ain't no telling, you be a first time felon No telling, when you be a first time felon It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon No telling, when you be a first time felon It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon No telling, when you be a first time felon I'm in the precinct, all damn even It's good cop, bad cop, shit got me steaming No, I was caught, I ain't give a fuck Had jokes like the user suspects line up Boop times up, came back fuck Shirt wrinkled up, my pigs rough me up Time's up, heard them clink of the cuffs Niggas was so deep, they had to call on the bus Everybody the jacks outside waiting on us Like ghetto celebs, our cells ain't plush Five in the book and gave a whooping. He never forget. They gotta be split. Up in the courtroom, they causing ruckus. Everybody in the jacks waiting on us. Try to bail us out. That thought got thrown out. Bill one, so I couldn't be a half in the gal. Hopped out. That's what first fell in the bow. Back on the bus. Right is the row. Wifey in the courtroom crying out. We love y'all with tears running in their mouth. No telling you be a first time felon. No telling when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling when you be a first time felon. Choke no joke. Learn from mistakes. Yeah. Legal hustle. Mega. You know what it is. It's choke Mello. no joke. I'm out killing heat. Left my boo and my dudes when I saw the heat. Was gone in 30 seconds, more like 23 Took flight like Mike, number 23 Before the indictment came I split like jaded in, get wet like Kane Got out the game Went from the tunnel, now movie making So it ain't no confusing why you do me hey. Yeah, choke no joke K -K New life uh. They said I'll be dead or in jail They was 
that's right, I saw right you sell. I knew I wasn't rich when I couldn't make bail. I made out good, five niggas that didn't tell. Hold up, don't go to trial when caught up. Roll the dice, watch the numbers just go up. When you're off or what's short as a pup's nuts, you got the whammy, cause you pressed your luck. Uh, you could have been back on the town. Industry bound, no more busting it down. To call this half O's, having to catch the flow. And reassuring those who act like they don't know that the ratchet let go. If you think we won't, fill them hollow points up with mercury. Send them to another planet, leave them screaming like Mike and Janet. Niggas can't stand it. I fell champagne with Ross running the game When I was locked and the CEO jumped in my face Talking gangster, nigga huh? Like I'm not a fucking gangster, nigga huh? But you got it in here, cause the odds ain't fair Cause you got that walkie and that button right there But after eight hours, you leave here And that's when you friend, it's not fair You shoot at the range, we shoot when it rains Roll up in that range, your face look real strange The look on my face is I got that aim Before you reach, you feel the pain uh, Blood stain, calculate to your brain You have been licked by that thing In the game of death, that's what you get when got game It's a method to the madness, how I bring the pain Of one that's not sane Choke, no joke, I do my thing Can't hang, hang they say you nobody until they kill you. I'm somebody alive. Guess that make me an ill dude. Made my name before the funeral. Considered a legend and still make moves. They know you when you're gone. They know me when I'm on. All over the board, you restricted you pawn. You wouldn't cut a lawn, blow a candle at dawn. Choke got it going on like fuel. Some of you fools is more ass than mule. Never rule like Rick with Mona Lisa in your crib. Haters mad. Cause I'm doing what they wish they did Without the rock, it's still gunning like Chris Nigga try to block, I time a whole this shit Nigga looking down at me, now he looking at dick Pause, that's just determined shit It's choke, no joke, nigga I'm lit Fire up, and we recorded this in the D and shit Playing handball, Miguel and Hack. 
Mike on the court. Niggas wanna be like Mike. Life's a box of chocolates. You're riding a pipe, playing the bench. Kids on the fence. Watch your popo, chase Prince. Don't dismiss your brethren for dumb shit. Keep it gangster, no shit where you live. 12 one right up in your crib. You never been aware, where else could you live? What's that? That's gangster boo coming through. Throwing it up, fucking his muffler up. Scraping the concrete where Willie's so sweet. He got his scores by the chief of police. From 233rd, Laconia to Gun Hill Road. Got knocked in. Like joke. Uh, uh. Choke, no joke. You already know. <laughs> Y'all know I love that cooch. You know who this is. I love that cooch. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's the A thing. Clean cooch. Let's go. Yo, what's up? My nuts when I wake up. Got morning wood and I just bust one in my hog and knee. I'm Ron Osley between the sheets and she want to ski and just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stone, had a Corinne and Medusa in one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. My nuts when I wake up, got morning wood and I just bust one in my hog and knee. I'm Ron Osley between the sheets and she want to ski and just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Corinne and Medusa in one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. Choke, no choke. You know what it is. Let's go. Let's go. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to these fakes and these frauds. They don't own cars with Lamborghini doors. When high show cut, it's back to the store. I was born in the Jacks and this shit was hell. The place where I saw soldiers fall. Some simply for nothing at all. Some cause they live on the other side of the wall. Now this might sound crazy, love what the hood made me. Poverty made me far from lazy. This ain't the place you wanna raise your babies. Young girls out here thinking they lazy. Snow's powdered white, they brain all hazy. Ask them what they wanna be, they look at you crazy. These young cats out here looking all angry. I was just like them, sometimes the music made me act other than myself, no influence lately. Cause behind the scenes, they not living greatly. And I found out that most of these cats act never so jack. So the penitentiary, let's go. I inspire y'all to all want Not thugs. If they was, 
beware of the slugs Do you see them when you cop your drugs? Holding up with S to be in the front Nah, it's not what they got, it's what they want In the jungle, we all on the hunt It's chemical Hold on, hold on No autographs right now I got something to handle right here No disrespect Be on the drums Choke, no joke on the mic Life is success uh, Is this what it is? <laughs> Let's go Life with success Is this what it is? Paparazzi running around flashing your kids Trying to catch them with a gun or a cig Hoping that they fall in some type of addiction Baby mama hitting you with numbers like a dish shit She's so high, you feel like she pimping It's alright bitch, yeah I'm tripping But it's better than the fucking max <laughs> You can have every time before you see this Jimmy again if life was a movie, you'd be going in the wind And this flow ain't conceptualized on chain and time But how ironic You file once a nigga went and got it poppin' I guess that's why you pushed up when I was Milano hopping Out in high school, fresh with jewels Looking successful as I do I made you a star in the hood Kept you in leathers and bamboo Fresh footwear, I kept you good Heavy color to match Your butter sauce Moved you to edge cold from the concourse, okay. left mom house in the bed all. Now you write that shit all off. Like taxes, make me wanna move your parts with chainsaw and axes. I need to roll up and get back to relaxing. Uh huh. This is this what it is? Life with success, huh? Is this what it is? Chicks you took care of. Motherfuckers you looked out for Hey, why you turn on your back They motherfucking hand out Is this what it is? Life was success Sometimes it sucks uh -huh. When people want something's when they call up yeah. People wanna hang Cause you got a no truck Let's go. Now you hang with chicks that you dreamed you fuck Haters want you stuck Chicks trying to get knocked up Cake in the oven and eat your cake up you get your own and raise our stakes up The more you get, yo, the shit get iller So I might go from the glove one and turn the thriller So a dealers get extorted by Popo when they needed a filler And the shit get realer They wanna clap back but sit back and be a griller Or be on the manhunt like Larry Davis That's on the real Success have a lot of dudes on painkillers Or puffing that fuzzy like caterpillars It ain't easy to deal with Life with success, huh? <laughs> is this what it is? Life with success. <laughs> is this what it is? Choke, no joke. Yeah. It's choke, no joke. Supreme bigger figure, big cap, the war in, the club king. The DJ Johnny Walker Red. MC Frank Jigger, the celebrity's choice. Sean Brophy, sound engineer. Choke, no joke, legendary videographer. Sterling Cox, I was the head of security. Alpha Grinion. My name is V. Omega. Big G. It's Ben Rock from the legendary Naughty by Nature. That was Peter Ghost, LOX, D Block. It's Tech Smith and Wesson. LB Fan, Mr. Cheeks. The cool, the DJ, the red alert. Kid Capri. The tunnel was a hip hop movie. It was the epicenter. It was the domain, the temple. It was the mecca. Nothing was that melting pop of hip hop. That kept the paradigm going. It's almost like what Rucker did for street basketball. The tunnel was that of music industry. My Sunday ritual going to the tunnel was 
I'm telling you, your ass better be there. We just pretty much did push-ups. We had to drink a couple bottles of Hennessy, go get smoked, leave the jewelry and watches at home. Before you even get to the tunnel, you gotta get on the block. You started from 11th Avenue, and when you got to that door, the search procedures was no other. First time I ever heard of take your shoes off, open your mouth, was in the tunnel. It was damn near anything but a full cavity search. Security at the tunnel was no joke. The beatdowns did happen. Some of them, you had that chain out, that shit was leaving with one of them niggas. We had a handful of cats. When we were taking you out, they were digging in your pockets. The code check at the tunnel was crazy because you ain't know if you was gonna get your shit back. Sometimes the bloops happen where you might not get your coat. A lot of boys wanted to get their girls some fur coats, you know? So, I mean, it was free. The ball was always on till out the tunnel. You might get fake alcohol. Bartenders might have got counterfeit. The dance floor was always rocking. It looked like a video all the time. The tunnel had a very unique situation at the bathroom. It was co-ed. The bathroom was Solomon Gomorrah. I was like this, looking, trying to look past the dudes like when they was going in the urinal. The tunnel was a one-stop shop. They had food, they had alcohol, drugs. I saw weed the tub. It was just oozing money. Backstage, it was like the club amongst the club. That's where all the so-called stars who were scary to be in the crowd, that's where they hung out at. The dopest thing about the tunnel for me to remember is hearing my records get played up in there. The top maybe of all time tunnel banger. Well, anything bad, boy. Every Biggie record, any shit by whole. Shook Woods was bananas in there. Nori Capone, that bang bang. Andy up. Any one of Buster joints. Wild Out would actually start a fight. The best performance I've ever seen, Jay-Z performed in front of the DJ booth. The DJ booth was bouncing like a ball. Snoop and Dre. When Dre was there. DMX, get at me, dog. The king of the tunnel was Jay-Z. Buster around. DMX is the king. Queen of the tunnel. Mary J. Blige. Foxy and Lil' Kim. Eve. King of the Tunnel record label wise was Def Jam. It's bad boy. The best DJ at the tunnel was Flex. Big Cap, all day. Flex used to break off the record, but he used to try to bully Cap, like, don't spin this, because when I get here, I want to spin it. No, nigga, fuck wrong with you. What the tunnel did for artists is solidify their street music. That gave us a platform, set up Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Bad Boy, slew of other artists. The closing of the tunnel, it was kind of sad because that was a big piece of hip hop. So losing the tunnel was like a little kid losing Disney. A famous mosque closing down. I think when the tunnel closed, it was necessary. Niggas was coming to miss me. When you hear people of the late 70s, I talked about Studio 54. The tunnel was the Studio 54 of hip hop.